Hi, hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Wow, Tom, you did that. Hi, hello, uh, much better voice, well, slightly better voice, let's be honest. It's been a while since we've done a vlog and some of you were messaging me asking if I forgot about my vlog channel. No, I did not. I have absolutely missed you guys. Um, I made the conscious decision to not focus on editing vlogs during the WSOP, which is now officially over. We had a great first time ever doing the series. Uh, we final tabled one event and didn't cash any others, but you know what? When I think about whether I'd rather final table one or min cash 10, I would much rather final table one. So I was a really, it was a really great first experience. I'm very excited about it. Um, I have so much to say, but I will put that in a different video. I will do a poker video that I've been meaning to do for a very long time that I've talked about for a very long time. However, in vlog land world, we are like two months behind. The footage that I'm about to show you is from May and I will take you through what has been the journey of my life uh, in the past two months. I feel like a completely different person. It's very bizarre watching this old footage. I have been vlogging the entire time during these past two months. I just haven't had time to edit the videos. So yes, I was vlogging. I did not forget about you, uh, but I didn't, I didn't have time to edit because I just couldn't physically um, carve out this the time away from studying the poker when I was actively participating in the Olympics of poker. I don't wanna to talk too much in this intro. Let's get back into where we were in May. Hello, good morning. It's Friday today and they just opened the beach lagoon in our neighborhood, like right down the street that I usually rollerblade next to. Um, it's open now for the summer and it's been closed since we've moved here, uh, basically. Like I've, there's a couple days it's been open, but mostly it's been closed. So I was about to start journaling, and I was reading my book, and I was about to start journaling, and then I was like, hey, wait, that beach lagoon's open. We should rollerblade over to the beach lagoon and then read and journal over there. They also have a little breakfast spot. It sounds like a party. Let's do that. Oh, also, we won $2,500 in a tournament yesterday playing poker. It's a good week. All right, we're off. Got my little backpack full of all my beach goodies. I packed some flip-flops in there just in case we wanted to go to one of the restaurants that are around. Um, there's this new bakery that just opened, so I want to check that out. Oh, and maybe I'll show you some of the little, maybe I'll show you some of the little baby geese again. There's so many, so many babies now. And when I was pulling in my driveway yesterday, there was a whole family of bunnies. There's so much life here. I'm very happy. of everything we got our sunscreen we got our book we got our journal we got a hat <laughs> we got a foot flaps we got a towel yeah oh face sunscreen perfect um, I was also thinking about how if we came here in the afternoon it'd be a perfect time to bring a bottle of wine the family over there has rosé uh, but they probably need it more than me. It's 10 a.m. We don't really need it now, but we could. We could also just rollerblade around the neighborhood with a glass of wine because it's Las Vegas and you can just drink in public. If you wanted to do a picnic, you could do a little picnic here. So cute. There's also like a basketball court and a kid's playground. It's super, super cute here. Um, I'm very much digging it. It's also the perfect day. It's 75 degrees. I think there's a high of 84 degrees today. No wind. Knock on wood. Perfect for the weekend. Anyway, Steve's meeting me here with the car because he doesn't have rollerblades. Not everyone could be this cool. And we're gonna have a little beach morning. We do have to shoot should they don't tell you today. So there's still work to be done. But TGIF guys, slap it high. Do you like your beach day? Yeah, this is really cool. I'm dressed for it, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, actually, it's actually not as warm as it looks, I have to say. It's, Nick, Nikki is dressed deceivingly. It's I'm, literally 76 degrees out right now. See, it's not, well, it was. Well, when we got here, it was an hour ago, and it was definitely colder than that. Nah, no, it was 76 then. That was probably 80. 
Yeah. Whatever. You're dumb. Um, anyway, so right across the parking lot is a little bakery and it just opened. So we're gonna check it out and see if we can get some breakfast. See if we could bag some breakfast. Yes, please. I was just talking about how like we used to have to drive an hour to the beach. But people were like, don't you miss LA? Like, don't you miss the beach? And I was like, no, but like you had to like plan a whole day to like go to the beach. Oh yeah. And then it's kind of like cold and stuff most of the time. Yep. Um, this is a fake beach and I literally like don't I, care. I prefer it. <laughs> yeah. I love fake stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little brekkie sandwich. Steve got a club sandwich. Mom. Everybody's happy. Back to the beach. Oh, hi, duck. You think we're gonna feed you too? Yep. <laughs> He's so excited. Uh, yeah, not gonna happen. No. Bro, 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 bro. Stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Stay in your fucking lane. I'm not allowed to. No. You better go. What a beggar. Hello, good morning. It's Saturday and we are on our way to a drag brunch. Yeah, I'm with my neighbor Katie. She's like way cooler than me. She knows all the cool things. I am learning. I am a student. Um, but we're downtown, um, downtown Las Vegas. I've actually been here before. I've been here for first Fridays. Oh, yeah. So I've never, but I've never been here. So I'm excited. Apparently there's a show and um, brunch and alcohol and all the things that people would like. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday, turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth day in hair, extra fruit, the brand, you can't move. So this has turned out to be one of the biggest go with the flow days ever. So we're now at a pool party, but I didn't know it was a pool party. And it's a, someone's birthday party and I didn't bring a swimsuit. Um, so I'm borrowing a swimsuit and we're just gonna go, we're gonna go have a pool party now. And that's just, that's our life. That's what's happening now. Okay, thank you. Hi, okay, so. All the things. I feel like we're usually doing all the things or none of the things. So last night we did none of the things. We watched uh, Love is Blind for like five hours straight. Couldn't help it. Wanted to watch one hour, get a bunch of work done. Didn't happen. Now we're doing all the things. So I thought, I already thought today was gonna be kind of crunch time because today is Wednesday and tomorrow I'm playing day two of a tournament. So I'll be busy all day. And then Friday, all of the big mood girls are coming here and they're staying here. So basically we only have today to do things before the girls get here since tomorrow is completely gonna be playing poker tournament. It's 3 p.m. and all of these boxes just got delivered because we now have an outdoor patio set. By the way, this house just got cleaned spotless two days ago and I was trying to keep it spotless, but these boxes are gonna get kind of messy. Cardboard, I don't know what it is about it. It just always makes everything messy. And am I gonna get the floors as clean as they were? No, I'm not, but I'm not gonna put myself to that kind of standard, okay? I'm not, it's just not gonna be a spotless floor and I'm sorry and everyone's gonna have to deal with it. We also have to shoot two episodes of Shit They Don't Tell You Today. Why do we do everything on one day? We don't know. This is just the epitome that is our life. That is what we do here at Limo, House of Limo. It's what we do here at the House of Limo Green. I just got out of a two hour poker coaching session and all I had time to do this morning was exercise and meditate. I don't know why my morning stuff takes me so long. I need to cut down on that, but that's neither here nor there. We need to get this uh, situated. So the thing about it though, is it probably wouldn't take me that long to set up. It's just that I also need to do an Instagram reel and get footage like for the brand when I do it. So basically we have to do all the pretty things today too, which is like, that part takes some thought, you know? So I uh, I don't know how it's gonna look. Maybe they'll hate it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll love it though. Let's think optimistically. Let's put inflections on weird parts of the words. I don't know why I did that optimistically. The good part of this though is that I have had these two ugly things in the corner for about two months now. There's a rug and an umbrella 
and I didn't want to set it up until this outdoor furniture was here because it's been very windy and I was like, the rug's gonna blow away, the umbrella's gonna blow away, but now this is all here, so I suppose we can set it up. Uh, I also got all that stuff. Did I tell you about this yet? Two light fixtures, this one and this one. They're replacing these two light fixtures, that one and that one. But I need an electrician to do it because I want to add a dimmer switch and also I don't want to rent a scaffolding so these ceilings are like 20 feet high. So, that's not happening, sorry. Oh, and I would have had enough time to hire an electrician but it's Mercury retrograde and you don't, you're not supposed to do any electrical work during Mercury retrograde. No travel, no electrical work, no buying big purchases or electronics, although I had to buy a computer today. Yeah, today I had to buy a PC gaming computer because Gina's coming here and I wanted her to teach me how to stream and I told Steve to get me a computer before the retrograde. He didn't do it. He still didn't do it. I woke up this morning. I'm like, she's gonna be here in two days. I still don't have this computer. So I had to get a computer today in the middle of retrograde. Can you believe it? You can't. We're not talking about that. We're talking about setting up outdoor furniture. Why are we getting off topic? I also need to do laundry. Oh man. Focus. So we're gonna do some outdoor outdoor setting up today. We're also, if we're gonna be out there setting up stuff anyway, might as well set that hot tub up, right? We haven't done it. It's been almost six months. We haven't set up our inflatable hot tub. I don't know how much we're gonna wanna use a hot tub in 95 degree weather, but it might be cool when the you know nighttime comes. It's like 70 degrees, pretty cool for being outside in a hot tub. Might be, might be pretty sick, I don't know. We'll do it, okay, fine, we're doing it, fine. So we're installing Nest thermostats, we're setting up a hot tub, we're setting up this outdoor dining, this umbrella, this rug, and I believe my other light fixture comes today. You're not supposed to do electric during Mercury retrograde. Should we install blinds? We have blinds over here. No, it's too many things. Okay, let's just do one thing. Let's start with one, and this is already taking too long. We're starting with one. Cut the video here, Nikki, we're starting with one. Cut it, cut it to the part where we're doing it. Do it. Editing Nikki, save us. We got the table and chair set up. Look at this, check it out, check it out. It's really big, it sits six people, which is really cool. Um, so this is from the same company that sent us this patio set. Shout out to Sunhaven, what what? Uh, I like that it matches, everything is cohesive, we love it. The only thing I wish is that I wish because there's so much space, I wish there was just an umbrella hole in the table that would be amazing and then I wouldn't have to figure out how to set an umbrella up or like any sort of shading. Um, we also have this option where there are some bolts here that I think were left over from like a pergola or a gazebo that might have been here. There's bolts on all four corners so I put it in the center of that just because I didn't want anyone tripping over those bolts if I put a rug over it you know it could get messy uh, but it did give me the idea that we could have the option of putting a pergola or a gazebo over it instead of an umbrella which is nice um, however I just it would just be so simple to have an umbrella right in the middle and then I wouldn't have to think about it instead I had to get a, a, an umbrella a separate umbrella with a base stand and this base stand, it's not the best. Okay, I wanted to get one of those rolly kind, but this umbrella I got needs like these triangular base things. It's a whole thing. Like I wish that this was just simplified, but it's not. So I had to get these corner looking, um, you'll see them, but it's like a corner, it's like four triangles that you fill with sand and then you wet the sand inside and so it ends up being like 150 pounds. I've gotten this kind of base before for an umbrella and the umbrella just bent right through it in the wind. So that's why I really didn't want this kind of base stand, but it's all we got for now. Maybe one day we'll upgrade to a pergola or a gazebo, but for now we are peasants with an umbrella and a sand mixture base, which also means we have to get I got sand from Home Depot, but I have to fill up that base. So we're doing that too. It's just a hard labor day today. We're doing a physical labor day today. And maybe we'll get to jump in that pool at the end of it. Probably not though, because I don't want to mess up my just freshly washed hair. But 
I don't know, maybe we'll be pushed to our limits and maybe we will accept the flamingo's invite for once. So I dream of to some be fun that they teach love. of it to look like this. I also moved my succulent over here just for pictures. I'm gonna move it back because I like it better over there, but cute, we did it, yay. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to set up that hot tub. I'm kind of hungry and tired. I don't wanna, and I'm gonna whine about it. Yeah, that's a better plan. Hm. On the next vlog, Steve and I celebrate our five year wedding anniversary. Oh my God. We've been together for almost a decade and then married for five years. Can you believe that wedding was five years ago? I can't. So tune in next week for, or not next week, tune in next time for that. And oh, and also, uh, by the way, I should have led with this. Maybe editing, Nikki put this in the beginning. I started a Twitch channel for poker. So it'll be separate from this channel so that people that are not interested in poker don't have to watch as much of me talking about poker. I'll still mention it here and there, but um, there I'll have, I have a whole Twitch channel and I started doing live streams. So join me over there, twitch.tv slash tricknicks. I couldn't get Nikki Glimo, but it is tricknicks, T-R-I-C-K-N-I-K-S. I'll put the link in the description. If you wanna come, find my live stream. We talk, we chat, we play poker, and we talk about poker, and we talk about other things too. So come on over, we have a lot of fun. I kept on